Hey what's going on everybody, my name is James and today we're going to be playing Terraria on the Xbox 360. So if you missed last episode, welcome. Uh, we're actually doing a let's play of the 1.2 update which has many new items in it. Uh, last update we pretty much just explored the world, built this fancy ass house and today we're actually going to get some stuff done. So we're going to start the episode by first off crafting a furnace. Now I don't know why I didn't think of this last episode, it's so uh, it's so simple and so natural that you should just do it anyway. But straight away, this, this craft a furnace. Okay. Now, we did pick up some iron in last week's, uh, last week, last week, <laughs> it's actually yesterday's, uh, I actually picked up some iron in yesterday's episode, so what we're going to be doing is just crafting that now, okay, and how many bars does that get us, that gets us 29, we've got 5 platinum, as you can see we've got a little bit of cactus left, I tried to go get some cactus during the meantime while I was waiting for time to kill, and I actually couldn't find any, because we chopped it all down, and we don't actually have enough for armour, so what I thought would be good is if we crafted some wood armour, so I went and got extra wood. Okay, so what are we going to do for iron? First off, we're going to have to craft an iron anvil. That's just actually bare essential. Usually, like when I get to hard mode and I have to craft the mithril anvil, it always catches me at surprise because I've always got, you know, I've always got enough mithril to make my armor, but never enough to make the anvil. Okay, if we craft that, we can go over to weapons. And as you can see, we've got a range of a short sword and a broadsword. So if you've never played Terraria before, never go for short sword. Short swords suck, right? That that crappy sword you start with, that's a short sword. And it's crappy because it's short. So you want to go with the Iron Brawn Sword all the way. Euromir will tell you so. Euromir being uh, one of the best Terraria players there is. Hands down. I'll give him that title any day. Steals it from every, uh, like steals it from under everybody's feet. Sorry if I sound tired today. I uh, just got back from work. And uh, I'm actually extra tired. So we're going to kill these penguins. Now, like I said, we're going to get some stuff done today. And that's the reason why I crafted the Brawn Sword at the beginning. Crafted this armor. Because, as you can see down here... We were having some problems, weren't we? You know, we were having some problems getting killed. There's lots of beautiful ore down here. Um, lots of beautiful ore, right? And we need to get all of this ore, don't we? Nope, wrong. We're not actually going to take that route today. What we're actually going to be doing is a little strategy route that I always take, uh, especially in the early game. And it's essentially just prepare for the boss, right? Uh, we're going to prepare for the Brain of Cthulhu. I know you might be thinking that we're jumping straight into it, and you know, you guys might be a little bit scared, might be a little bit nervous, but... Don't be, it's uh, it's not going to be too challenging. We're going to need some prep work first, and this episode, what we'll probably get done, because uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to kill all these enemies, what we'll probably get done is we'll probably kill enough enemies, maybe, maybe enough enemies, to actually get the spawn for it. You know, we'll spend the, uh, the probably the beginning part of episode 3 preparing for the fight, and uh, we'll probably be done with Brenna Cthulhu and moving on to all them, all them, uh, you know, corruption jazz and all stuff like that in episode 4. Okay, so... If you didn't join us last time, our crimson is actually over here. We found that it's split straight into this desert. And that's pretty good because we can pick up some sand for some potions. We're going to need that for glass. And as you can see, I've not actually explored much of this. Uh, what I am going to be doing now is just crafting some crafting some wooden platforms. And what's good about wooden platforms is they're, they're not necessarily cheap, but they don't look too much of an eyesore. And that's important because what we're going to be using them for is to just clear over some of the chasms. And that just helps for mobility. Is there, as you know, if we go on and we get all, you know, uh, boots, like fast boots and stuff like that, we're going to want a really flat world. Not essentially flat, because you can walk up one block tiles now, but we're going to we're gonna want a semi-flat world, and it should just help. So as you can see, we're averaging like 6, 7, 8 damage with this Iron Broadsword. It's pretty good. I like my Iron Broadsword. Kill that slime anyway. I'll come up here. So if you're wondering what I just picked up then, I actually picked up a day balloon. And I'm really going back to basics here, but day balloons are used in potions, they're used in iron skin, they're used in regeneration, they're used in hunters and archers. Uh, I believe they're also used in, uh, I believe, no, mana, mana, I can't remember, magic potions or something like that, that's what I was getting at. I've got a few flying fish here, I'll just screw them over, die flying fish. <laughs> I do think the flying fish do look a bit weird. I'll right, just grab some sand. All you have to do with sand is essentially just cook it in a furnace, makes glass, make some glass balls out of that, and then you'll be able to make all them lovely potions. Potions are quite fun. Apparently, there was a spoiler the other day that the PC update for 1.2.4, I think it's the next update, has actually got some new potions, so I'm looking forward to that. Die slime. Now, I don't actually think they have a chance of dropping these umbrellas, but I know you actually can find umbrellas, they're quite helpful, they're quite helpful for mobility. Alright, well, let's copy. Hello, slime. Uh, die, slime. You don't need to live. You need to die. 
I do like the animation of the rolling umbrella. I think that's pretty smart. Okay, so do we have any health potions? Uh, the answer is no, but we can temporarily, temporarily eat mushrooms. Oh, God. Let's see a mushroom real quick. Jump down here. Okay. Now we are into the crimson now. We are going to get our butts kicked. Well, hopefully not. But we have a high chance of it. So, if there is a high death toll this video, I'm really sorry. Like I said, I'm not amazing on console. Okay. So, this is one of the enemies we're going to be facing a lot of. Uh, it's Crime Era. Crime Era is a crimson variant of the corruption eaters in the uh, things. And what we're going to actually be collecting is these vertebrae. Vertebrae, spell like that. V E R T B R A E. I don't know why you need to know that, but you do now. And we're going to be collecting 15 of them. Now, 15 will make us a bloody spine. And I don't know if I mentioned it last video, but there's a little bit of a bug at the moment. Um, and it's going to require us to actually hand make the uh, hand make the blue spine because if not I would have used um, I would have used bombs on a chasm and just summon the boss that way it's a lot easier usually let's go up here let's have a little bit of a scout uh, I probably will collect a little bit of ebon wood if I get the or shade wood if I get the chance because shade wood's pretty good for uh, armor it's a little bit better than the armor we're wearing at the moment not a little like it's only literally a little bit better because the armor we've actually got on is really bad we're going to need some iron skin potions if we're going to you know you know, withhold most of the attacks coming on later. Now, each crimson has one main section to it, right? It has one main tunnel downwards into the underground, and this is looking like it. So you see this? Uh, you see that little big gaping hole? And you follow that down, and then that'll be the underground. So hopefully we don't get another one of these. These are another monster we're going to be facing. Uh, these are the face monsters. They remind me a lot of the things from uh, Amnesia. They do look very creepy, and I wish they had a mask. I'd, I'd definitely wear the mask. They also have a chopper drop in uh, vertebrae, which is good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. I didn't actually get the chance to, like, I haven't had the chance to read your comments yet, because as I film this, uh, the first episode isn't even on the internet yet. It's, well, it's waiting to go on the internet. It'll be on the internet in a few hours. I'm doing these, uh, <laughs> absolutely died then. I'm doing these a uh, daily rotation so that I can keep ahead of them and I can also get your feedback and then they'll be applied an episode later. Okay, so since it's getting night time, what I thought we'd actually do is craft some iron skin potions. Now, I mentioned them just before I died and I think it's actually pretty valuable if we just craft them now. So iron skin potions, what they actually do is add 8 defense to you. And if we check our defense now, our current defense is free. So if we add 8, that'll be 11. And that'll be enough to withstand most of the attacks from the enemies. Now, we're going to be using regeneration and iron skin potions when we have the fight uh, with the Brain of Cthulhu. And it should be, it, we should be well prepared by then. I'll just make these bottles. And then all you got to do with these bottles is we just got to find a water source real fast. Um, all right, it's one down there. We'll, we'll go to this one down here. Uh, we're going to be crafting, we're going to be crafting water bottles from this, if you're wondering. A few demon eyes. We'll kill these because we need their lenses. It's got to kill every penguin I see. Okay, come on. Die. Ah, there we go. And it didn't drop a lens. So we're going to be crafting water bottles. And that should give us uh, the basis for potions. Now, potions are very simple. Uh, they they literally they just have very simple crafting recipes. And if you were to put a water bottle into... Oh, you have to do a standard water for these, by the way. If you put a water bottle into your guide, you should find the crafting recipes for all of them. If not, just look on the, the Terraria Wiki. Terraria Wiki will give you uh, lots of helpful advice. Now, I was hoping that we'd save... Yeah, we have. We've saved enough glass for an actual bottle, because to make an alchemy station, you actually need uh, to place a bottle on a crafting bench. And we'll just go and do that now. Sorry, it's so dark, by the way. I, I don't like the console version in the sense of it's just so dark. Mad Scientist 713. 712 started playing Terraria. I don't even know who he is. Okay. So we just come up here. Uh, we'll get that bottle ready. Which crafting window is it on? It's on here. Uh, put our bottle onto our hotbar, like so. And we'll just place this on the table. Thank God we didn't eat all our mushrooms, because we're actually going to need a mushroom for this. Now, I just want to show you this real quick. Uh, if you didn't already know this, you can actually click on your guide. And you press B to talk, and you can give him an item. For example, we'll give him this, and he'll tell us all the things that we can make of it. So, you know, you've got Fawn's Potion, Battle's Potion... Natal Potion, Shine Potion, Visibility, Spelunker, Feather Fall, Magic Power, Flask of Venom, Mana Regeneration, Iron Skin, Gills, Swiftness, Regeneration, Obsidian, Greater, Unholy, Holy. You get the idea. So we'll come up here and we'll make this. So we're going to be needing... Uh, let's split them up just real quick. Alright, so these are the potions we can actually make. 
So we can make a battle potion, increase his enemy spawn rate. I'm going to do that. And we're going to need one for an iron skin. Now the reason why I'm going to get one for the increased spawn rate is because it's just going to help with what we're going to be doing. Obviously we've got we've got this iron broadsword and that should be able to fend off enemies, hopefully. I say hopefully because usually you can get a lot of problems when fighting off some of the corruption enemies. They do tend to... Uh, too dent uh, they do tend to kind of go behind your back and uh, talk about you. <laughs> no, but they uh, they do tend to uh, like flip around. The you know the AI pattern on them is a bit funny. You could call it, you could call that you know a feature, or you could call it just poor AI. And uh, I don't really want to be the guy to mention which one it is. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait until daytime because we're waiting until daytime just for your sake. I would actually go out during the night, but I don't want you guys to be Sat there at the screen squinting away, going, ah, what can I see? And you can see nothing. So we're going to wait until daytime and we'll go do what I planned. All right, see you then. Okay, so it's a brand new day. We have our potions and that iron skin's going to last us for five minutes and the enemy one is going to last us for seven minutes. So hopefully we don't get overflogged and then two minutes afterwards and get absolutely mauled. But we should actually be all right. We've got good DPS for now uh, and uh, essentially we're just looking for vertebrae. So we can scatter around the top of this world. I might actually cut some trees just while I'm waiting. Like I said, shade wood is actually it's actually all right for armor. It's not like I said, it's not amazing, but since we haven't got any cactus and we're really searching for early game armor, it's really going to help. Okay, so this is one of <laughs> this is another one of the enemies that we're going to be facing. It's a blood crawler. Thankfully, our iron sword is got enough knockback to knock it back. And um, what is that? Is that a drop? No, apparently not. I've not actually seen it. Like drop that limb before. It's pretty weird. Blood crawls are not are not too bad. They one of the one of the advantages they have is that they can actually go on the front wall and the back wall. And that can actually result in do you know when you box yourself in and stuff like that? Usually they can get around it and kill you. Uh they're very, very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. And uh yeah. I, I really don't like the blood crawls. <laughs> Only because I've I don't like spiders, they freak me out. Alright, so we'll just wait here for now. So as you can see, we got the boss on the top here. This way, boss actually are. Uh, oh, the iron skin actually increases defense by eight now. I thought it was only seven. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so we really are getting flogged up. Yep, we're getting flogged. We're getting. F <laughs> we're getting flogged. Uh, <laughs> oh god, that was a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. What's? Oh no, I don't even have a good enough knockback for this. Ah. Uh. Oh, a chest. A first chest. And um, we're coming up to the dungeon as well. These are not like a... These are biome mobs, but they're not biome mobs. They will... Ah, I can't click fast enough. They will actually just absolutely maul you if you uh, if you do come out of the crimson. They won't just stick in the crimson just to fight you. They will follow you around. They'll probably kill the old man as well. You definitely don't want to take him to the dungeon. Come on. All right. Please don't kill the slime. You could be the death of us. Please don't be the death of us. What's in here? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Let's right, see if we can find some hearts real quick. Oh, come on, please drop a heart. <laughs> oh, we got potions. Nice one. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's some hearts. Got a blue candle in here as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, so they're not... Come on. <laughs> it's really hard to click. I'm so not used to this. Start playing Call of Duty again. <laughs> we need a really fast swing fire for this. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Hello, old man. <laughs> you look a lot like my avatar. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you that? Okay, so there is a light switch in here. Oh, it's already on. Uh, I always like to do a little check while I'm here. Uh, I always like to check for, um, for water bolts. Oh, damn it, we didn't get one. I, I kid you not, the last, I don't know, I don't know, the last 10 games, it's got to be at least 10, the last 10 games, I've come into a world, I've come into the dungeon, and bam, water bolt. Do we risk it? Okay, let's, let's risk it real quickly, because I really want a water bolt, water bolts are so handy, if not, ooh, I won't go any further than that, I think also if you linger around it, it can kill you. I'm edging it. I'm edging it. Are there any books down there? Does it look like there are going to be any books? No. Okay, we'll go back up. 
Um, if you don't know what we're doing, actually, and I should really explain because I've gone a little bit quiet. Uh, what happens is if you go too deep into here without killing the uh, the Skeletron at the beginning, uh, you actually just get killed. You get absolutely killed by a Dungeon Guardian. And they are possible to kill, yes, but only when you've got uh, like really good flight. So it's usually best just to not go into them. What we can actually do is we can actually make a new world and we can keep trying to get a water bolt because a water bolt is so handy. Like, it is so handy. Uh, I'm actually quite good at a water bolt. They're a, a really good weapon to have. And we'll just check what's in this chest. What do we get? We got throwing knives, uh, night owl potions, and some bottles. That's that's fine. And we also got a merchant. Nice one. That's not because of the chest. That's because, uh, that's because the merchant really likes us. So it looks like we've encountered a glitch there with that blood spider. As you can see, what it's doing is it's switching between front wall and back wall, and it's just causing a little bit of problems for it. Let's not let's not take advantage of that. Let's definitely not go and kill it right now because it's stuck. <laughs> Thankfully, the draw of our sword's going to be a good enough range to get it. Actually, it's been all it's been all right using this battle potion. I I, I was a little bit reluctant. To know, oh god, I say this and I die. What is going on? Obviously, as we as we get more enemies, we can also have more fish. Oh, what we'll do is we'll stay down here for a second. Oh, and we're absolutely dead. The plan was to stay down there and wait for the fish to kind of just bobble in the water a little bit, and hopefully that was gonna like save us a little bit of life. All right, so how many vertebrae did we get from that? We got nine vertebrae, so we're pretty much always on like we're almost on the way there. Uh, I definitely want to try and get that water bolt. A water bolt would be really really handy. Uh, it also means that I could also spend the night times while I'm just sat here waiting for the night to go along. I can actually use that to get mana potions, well, uh, fallen stars, so we can make some mana, and that is that'd be a perfect plan. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's do a little bit of an inventory sort out. Let's move some stuff around, and we'll talk about what we're going to be doing for the next, yeah, for the rest of the episode. So let's put this chest down. We've got some tools up there, so let's put it down here, and we'll put that there. Okay, so doubt trap. We're not going to need this. Um, oh, did I not click on it? Oh, yeah, you don't click on it. Do you click on it? No, it should just work. There we go. Okay, doubt trap. We're not going to be needing that. We picked that up in an earlier episode. Um, acorns. We're not going to be needing them. Books. We'll use them for decoration later. Actually, we'll we'll take them out now, and we'll spruce up the house a little bit. Do some home improvements. A water leaf, we're going to keep them because they're used in potions. Pressure plates, we can use them so we don't have to buy any in a later game. We're going to keep the day bloom just because it's just convenient to have it there. Slush, we're not going to need this until we've got an extractor. We're going to keep the books out, like I said. Uh, like we've, we've only got five platinum. It might be best doing a little bit of a trip to go get some later. We're going to keep that iron ore there just because it helps with potions. Don't need the sand, though. We can trash that. We can trim the crimson sand blanc. Um, we'll put the glass in here, we don't really need it. Same with these bottles. Same with them bottles up there. It's a shame that we actually got bottles from the chest. That's one of the worst things you can get. Uh, I say worst. I don't mean worst because it sucks. I just mean worst because it's just rubbish. We also got some shuriken while we're destroying them pots in the dungeon. And we'll keep them. We'll keep our torches on a hot bar. Mushrooms, we'll keep. They're convenient. Uh, what we can actually do is assign these as well. So if you press like side on your D-pad, you can select them. And it's good to just have them. Okay, we'll keep the ebon wood just in case we need it. A night hour potion, we might need this at some point in the future, so I'll put that to the down bottom. Uh, we'll only ever use night hour potions for when we're exploring at the night time. And I actually need you guys to see, because it, it helps. I'll probably use it during the boss fight. It helps you like be a little bit more precise. We'll just spruce up the home. Okay, we'll put three... Oh, hmm, being a bit more wasteful. What we'll do is we'll put one book there. We'll put two books there. Like that, and um, we'll just put one book here, like so. Now it looks like the guide's got something to read. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going on to new worlds, and I'm going to be going to get a water bolt. Now, a water bolt is just, they can find them in the first room of the dungeon. They're a really good item if you can find them there. So I'm going to go find one. I'm not going to show that, because it's going to take absolutely forever, and you guys don't want to see that, so I'll be back with my water bolt. Um, hopefully in the near future. Hopefully it don't take too long. Well, thanks for joining me again. And, uh, yeah, I managed to find one in one of the first worlds that we got. Uh, it's a Mystic Water Bolt, which means that it has plus 12 damage and minus 10 mana cost. Problem is, we don't actually have any mana, so we're not going to be able to use that for a little while. 
But like I said, I want to finish the vertebrae this episode, definitely, because, you know, you've got to get the prep episode out of the way. Uh, like I said in my, in my 1.2 original Let's Play, I like to skip all this stuff, but for all of those who, who you know, want the content and want to see the real game, uh, this is it, man. But what we're doing now is we're just travelling to the Crimson. We don't have any potions with us. Uh, we do have health potions, but we don't have any of the potions that we were using last time. Simply because uh, they were a little bit of a pain to craft, and I only actually, you know, I was only actually doing them just to just to kind of show you guys. Uh, so this is an albino, this is an albino. Uh, what are these called again? Antillian? Antillian? Ah, yeah, it's, it's Antillian because I once said Antillian and people thought piss. But these are a console exclusive enemy. All they are is literally a reskin. Yeah, well, I don't know what the point of them is. I, I'm not a big fan of the reskins in this update. Uh, not so, not in the update a sense of this update. You know, just in general, I'm just not a fan of the reskins. They have actually redone all the all of their hard mode armor because they had dragon, um, they had spectral, which have obviously I believe they've changed the name of now. Well, I hope they have because it just messes with what we've already got. Um. But they've they've respriteed them all, and the problem is they one of the major points of the you know buying the the actual physical copy of the game is that it came with a poster, and I actually did an unboxing for the poster, but I'll try and drag up a clip, but maybe not. Um, but it had a it had. I think I'm messing up my words there. Let me just repeat that just so we're clear. Uh, I did an unboxing of the collector's edition, and it had a poster in it, and the poster had three sets of the armor. And it literally just had the crafting recipes and the sprites for, you know, the armors that you get just in the console edition. So it'd be a shame. It's a shame, really, that they've changed the sprites. Because now my poster, which obviously didn't put on my wall because it's a bit, you know, it's not my age group. But it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't look right now. It's a bit, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's, that's a bit of a shame. I really like I really like collector's edition of games as well. Like, um, the PC collector's edition for this is actually alright. Okay, so let's talk about the game a little bit more. So all we need is five vertebrae now. That should be that should be nothing. Um, what I'm going to be doing is just lighting up this area just a little bit, just for you guys. Um, hopefully you can see. If not, I'll try and whack up the gamma. I try not, I try not to brighten the videos uh, because it actually lowers quality. I don't think it you know really serves the game justice. You know, if somebody just kind of steps in and they see it, they're just like, "What the hell is that?" Okay, blood crawler, get out of my face! Damn, these are these are really creepy, man. They make some awful sounds as well. Uh, thankfully, I don't have sounds on. I have to listen without any sound. <laughs> that's the that's the pleasure of recording and using a television and just all that stuff. Eh, you know. Okay, so we got some throwing knives and some shuriken. Now, shuriken is a good weapon. Shuriken uh, pierces enemies. It's really early game and it's quite you know I mean you use it in PvP a lot. But one of the good thing about shuriken is that you can actually buy it from the merchant. So if we look at our gold right now, we have um, we out of, we got, well, we've got 52 silver. Don't even have any gold. But it should be enough to get at least about 50 and so. And that can actually really help out in a fight. So this is this is the strength of Shuriken. It's not fantastic, but when you're fighting the Eye Cthulhu or something like that, it comes in really, really handy. I've done a lot of the early games just using Shuriken. Uh, throwing knives are very similar. Uh, I wasn't actually sold on Shuriken until Euromir did a video where he was fighting... I believe, I can't believe what, I can't remember what boss it was. Maybe it was the Brain of Cthulhu. But he's fighting the Brain of Cthulhu with just, uh, just throwing knives because that's just what he had. And it was it was really good. So ever since then, I've actually been quite sold on Bronos. I think they've got a good little curvature them. I'll just light up the place because we're not using that potion. We're not obviously getting as many enemies this time. That can pass through. The thing about these enemies is they can come through the bottom of platforms, but they can't go back down again. Look, so you see, it came through. If we went, if we were to go back down, it wouldn't be able to come out. This face monster. Oh God! Please don't kill me. <laughs> Need to heal. So this this is the main passage, like I said. Uh, it's probably best we don't go down there. All oh, all the spiders are building up. We'll go see if we can kill a few of them. We're running out of shuriken, and um, we're running out of throwing knives. It's just best to note that, just so I don't spam the button and then I realise we're out and get absolutely mauled. Let's take our iron broadsword to them. Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh God. That's a lot. It's like this is what I was saying, by the way, about them crime areas. They like to just come up behind your back and absolutely kill you. Them blood crawlers are really deadly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them vertebrae off them vertebrae off screen, uh, just so just so we can speed a few things up. And then once we have that, 
uh, we can go collect some mana stars during the night, and we'll see what we can do for whatever else. I think this is coming to the end of the episode now. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Like I said, this has been a prep episode. I've liked to like I've shown a few things that you know I usually don't. I'm just showing the bear like the bear girls, the bear the bear stuff of just the game. Um, but that's about it for today. I'm quite tired. Oh God, working. Uh, college. Meh. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like. Uh, I'd love to see this series get a constant amount of likes. Uh, like I said, I, I always keep my series going if they you know keep their audience. If they don't keep their audience, I usually just scrap them. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll definitely be showing a boss fight next episode for sure. Like, nice one. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Peace.